In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to create an endosome fusing with a lysosome, a structure that's notoriously difficult to illustrate. So to start off, I'm just going to delete this finished structure so you can see how easy it is to make from scratch. And I'm going to start off by just searching the term vesicle in our icon library. And you can see that some of the search results um, show this little brush symbol on top of the thumbnail. And it's just telling me that these search results are actually created using our bio brushes. And that's what we're going to need for this tutorial is a shape that's made with a bio brush. So I'm going to select this icon. It looks like it's a pretty good size and shape for what we need. And I'm going to rotate it, center it nicely. And you can see that the membrane or the vesicle wall is a little thinner than um, what the rest of the images are showing on my canvas. So I'm going to select that and look at what thickness that is. It's about 14. So I'm going to go in and adjust the width of this brush to 14. So that looks pretty good. And what we're going to need to do is actually separate out this brush so that it actually kind of explodes into a bunch of little pieces. Um, and now this is an irreversible um, action. So what I'm going to want to do is maybe right click and add to my favorites tab just in case this goes wrong. I actually have a copy of it saved in my favorites tab there. So that's great. It's saved to the brush. And now I can do kind of whatever I want to this and um, kind of play around with the colors. So I'm going to go back up here to the brush options and click this button called separate brush into editable icons. And what that's going to do is it's going to give me a little warning sign to say it is indeed going to separate out the brush into little pieces. So I'm going to click confirm. And what that did was it actually created a grouped icon. This little purple bounding box is what that means. And um, if I double click into this group, you'll see that um, it will allow me to select little pieces along the edge of this uh, membrane. It even created a separate middle section, which will come in handy later when I want to create maybe a gradient fill. So I'm going to leave that for now. And what I'm going to want to do is actually select the bottom half of this, just kind of roughly half of that structure. I'm going to deselect that blob in the middle because it looks like I picked it up with my mouse. So I'll just shift select that. So all I have selected is the bottom half of this fusing endosome and lysosome. And I'm going to come up here to my color palette and select, I think this red color matches pretty well with the lysosome. I'm going to double click out and it looks pretty good. I think it's a good match. Zoom out. All right, looking pretty good. Of course, I need some contents to fill. So I think I'll just copy and paste these three and place them into the top half of the structure. And I'm going to select um, all the pieces here from my lysosome. I'm just going to hit Command C on my Mac and then hit Command V so I can move them over here. Just shrink it down a little bit. There we go. And then since the background of this lysosome was pink, I'm going to try to see if I can create kind of a gradient as a background fill. So I'm going to go up here to my fill, go to gradient, and here's where um, the color bar is that's going to identify um, the direction of my gradient. Now we do have a few pre-made fills, so maybe one of these might suffice. Um, I can start with that. It looks like it's a bit of an extreme color option, so let's go ahead and change the angle for this. It's looking pretty good. Maybe more of a white fill along the top. And this red might be too bright, so I'm going to tone it down just a tad. There we go. Let's see if I should move it around any more than that looks pretty good and double click out so it looks pretty nice you can see here kind of the contents are starting to mix together and it's giving me the sense that this endosome is indeed fusing with the lysosome